Hi guys, it's Mrs. Jones. I am here this week for Des Moines trying to get you guys ready for the upcoming Valentine's season. Um, February 14th, as you know, is Valentine's Day. So, um, I'm going to show you how to do two different Valentine's Day gnomes, a girl and a guy, and you can pick which one you want. I'm going to do the girl first. Um, and then I shall do the guy. This is not my drawing, but, um, it belongs to, I think, painting with a twist, maybe. But we're going to do something similar to that. I just don't have a copy for you right now. So, um, we're going to do this one here and something similar to this. But, so hang tight. Um, so we're going to start with the girl. All right, and you can use whatever you like to color this. If you want to do watercolors, that's what I'm going to use. But you could also use some oil pastels if you like. All right, here we go. You can also use whatever colors you want. If you're not about Valentine's Day, you can do some other things too. So I'll show you how to do that while we get there. Firstly, the nose is in the middle, about the middle of the piece. Out like, okay, um, and then it's kind of like an egg shape, so I'm just kind of sketching it out and we can erase lines that we don't want later, okay. And then the hoodie kind of goes over the side of the nose. Now, we've done a lot of um, gnomes over the years, you guys and I. But I don't think I've done a Valentine's flavored one with you, so that's why I thought I would try it. Now at this point you have a couple choices in how you can do your gnome hat. Um, this one has just some stripes. You can leave it plain and put like a little patch. You could put um, just some stripes in the first one and leave the rest by itself. Um, I have some other gnomes. You could just make it solid like that. Or if you like um, the painting of the twist version that has like different designs um, like that, you could do something like that. So it's kind of up to you how you want to do your hat. But for this one, I think I'm just going to stick with a basic one. So I'm just going to put some smaller layers going up like that. And then I'm going to kind of go off to the side. Okay, so there's my gnome. Now, um, for my girl gnome, I'm going to give mine some braids. But you can do yours with whatever kind of hair you want. You want to do curly hair? Great. You want to do straight hair, short hair, long hair? It's up to you. I want to show you how to do braids because I think it's kind of cool. Just for other future drawings of humans if you like. So how I'm going to do this, it's kind of a, an interesting pattern. It's like an oval that's sideways, and then you do another oval that's sideways a little bit farther down, and then you just keep doing that same pattern. And this is only one side of the braid. But I'm going to make it kind of go smaller and smaller, and then maybe when I get about here, I'll pretend there's a hair tie there and like finish her off. Okay, now on the other side, we want the oval to go the other direction, and we're going to intercept the first oval about the middle, and then the second oval around the middle. So you're going to keep going down, getting smaller. So, something like that. For a braid. Um, and if you don't like that, that's all right. This one is a little bit bigger, doesn't it? Let's see if this is my good eraser. Oh, it is my good eraser. Yay! So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Going down. Smaller and smaller and smaller. And then the other side, I'm going to do it like this, where I'm intercepting kind of in the middle. The braids on the right are a little bit 
too wide, but it's all right. Hair tie, little kind of swirly paint brush looking thing. Okay, so I have two braids, and then I need a, a mouth. Since the girl gnomes don't really have a beard, I like to give them just a mouth like this, where it's a half smile with a curve, and then maybe even like a little dimple. Oh yeah, and you gotta put like a little gleam in the nose to show that it's kind of shiny. There we go, she's getting cute. Okay, now she needs um, an outfit. So at this point, you can either kind of put her hands at the side, or you can have her holding like a heart that says something like love, best friend, your name, whatever, whatever you want to do. So, I think I'm going to do a heart. And it's going to kind of go underneath the braids a little bit. And then I want her to be holding the heart. So I'm going to put some curves on the side. And then I would like her to have some like fingers on it like they're holding it. The thumbs will leave out because the thumbs would kind of be on the back side of the heart. And the other fingers are on the front. And then we're going to give her just a little dress. But you could give her shorts, pants, whatever you want to give her. And then two little boots or fronts of shoes, whatever kind of shoes you like. Okay, so I've got the basics here. And then, um, like, you could use this if you want. Make it into, like, a Valentine's Day card or give it to your best friend or... Say I love you, or happy Valentine's Day. Whatever you want to write on there is fine. Um, but if you're going to use a paintbrush to do it, the less letters, the better. Because it'll be hard to write something small with a paintbrush. Um, so I'm just going to say, I'm just going to stick with love. But you can put your name if you want whatever you want to do. So now, um, on my background, I chose to do a bunch of hearts, but if you want, you could do a, any kind of background that you like. You could do a wooden background, you could do like a pattern on the wall. Um, it's kind of up to you. I did my first painting with acrylic, so this is a little bit different. So I'm not quite sure what I want to but I like the curved heart, so I'm going to do like a swirl down into a point and then do the other side. And I'm just going to put a couple of those all over. Oops. Yours does not have to look like mine. You can do whatever you like as far as design and colors. If you don't want a heart, you could have her doing something else and do different colors. This is just kind of like if you want to do it for Valentine's Day. Um, all right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and paint her real quick with my watercolors. So remember, the more water you put in your watercolors, um, the thinner and lighter the color will be. And then the more you mix, um, like a little bit of water with your colors, the darker the colors are gonna be. So I'm going to start with her nose. So I'm going to use pink. You can use whatever color you want. Skin color can be whatever color you want. I just kind of like to do their, their noses a little pink. So I'm going around that white spot. I want to keep white because the paper's already white. There we go. And I think I want her hat to be... Maybe pink and purple this time. Um, so I'm going to put some pink. Oops. And 
I will remind you, you can use whatever medium you want to colorize yours. You could do pastels, markers, crayons, color pencils, whatever you have at home. I just chose to do watercolor because it's a little bit faster. And I don't want you to be stuck on here all day long if you want to try both types of gnomes. Okay? But I know I go a little fast, so if you need to slow down the speed or you need to pause it, you're welcome to do that. We're going to do some purple. I don't really like my purple. I bet you guys have a better purple than I do. The purple is almost like gray or something. I don't know what it is. I almost wish I would have done like turquoise or blue because I have really good versions of that in my watercolor tray. You guys doing anything fun at school for Valentine's Day? Like exchanging Valentine's or having a party or anything like that? My best friends and I, when we were in college for Valentine's Day, we used to call it Singles Awareness Day. <laughs> and we would go, um, all of my best friends would go with me to Cheesecake Factory. And we would just have a really big, fun girls' night every year for Singles Awareness Day is what we called it. But it was... You know, our Valentine's Day tradition. It was super fun. So if you don't have a Valentine, it's okay. Go with your friends. Hang out. If you're allowed to, of course. I don't really have a good option for a face color. I just have, like, kind of a brown that I could um, add water to, to make it a little bit lighter. But like I said, you can use whatever colors you have and make her skin or his skin color, whatever skin color you want to have. You want it to be blue? Fine, make it blue. I'm going to do a pink heart with a purple outfit. I don't know. might regret this, but I'm doing it. I'm not a fan of this purple. Changed my mind. I'm gonna give her a red outfit. Then we'll do like a light pink background with purple hearts. You can do whatever your colors you want. You want her to be getting ready for like the Super Bowl and wearing Super Bowl colors for your team that you're rooting for, you could do that. And if you don't want to do a girl and you'd rather do a boy gnome, you could fast forward this video to the boy part. Cute. If you want to give it to somebody but you're not sure who to give it to, give it to anybody. You can give it to your grandparents, your parents, your sister, your brother, aunt, uncle, cousin, friend. 
Or you could just put it in your own room or something and hang it up. I'm gonna do like dark brown hair this time. So I can find a good brown. This is kind of a cool color, it's like a red brown. Let's see how that looks. Whoa, that's not the color I was hoping for. You know, it was like red red. I thought it was like brown red. Not red at all. That's alright. I don't have any red heads yet, so I'm gonna do red. Maybe add a little brown on top. How fun is this color? I really thought it was gonna be a, like a more like a brown, but it's turning out to be super cool red. How many is that? I'm going to add some brown to it, though. Mm, I might regret it. It's okay. I'll just go back over it with more of the cool dark red if I don't like it. That's what I love about art. Nothing's final. If you don't like it, go back and fix it. If it dries, you can go back and paint on top of it. There we go. How cute is she with her brownish red hair? I like her. Does your school have an FCCLA? Ours does, and I'm the advisor, and it happens to be that Valentine's Day is during FCCLA week because the colors of FCCLA are red and white. So it's kind of exciting. So we're hoping to do some cool FCCLA activities during Valentine's week. I didn't know, if, I, I saw that you had some culinary looking classes on your, on Ms. Sumter's post online. So I didn't know if you had a, an FCCLA. But I know you guys are super into like FFA, which is similar in different ways. But if you did have an FCCLA, it would be super fun to do for my high school to do stuff with your high school. So I know I'm making this background the same pink that I made her hat. And I don't really want them to like blend in together where you can't see the line anymore. So what I might do later when it dries is go over the outline with a sharpie so it kind of pops, but you don't have to do that either. And you can pick different colors than I did. So maybe this won't be an issue for you. But I know your brushes are smaller, so it's going to take you longer to do the background, so no worries if it takes you longer. I'm just trying to get through it, so if you want to do both, you don't have to sit here all day. turn mine upside down so I can finish it. Super turbo speed on this side. Add some water. So I got my background and now I need 
some hearts. Ooh, I was gonna do purple. But now I really like this red color, so I think I'm gonna do the red color. That is fantastic looking, isn't it? So dark. Love that. It kind of stands out, and I like the color better than the purple that I have. You guys probably have a better purple. I don't know why. That's the only purple. I have all of these different colors, and that's the only purple, and I don't like it. Normally, I love purple. So I'm just outlining my hearts. You don't have to make them fancy, and you don't even have to have hearts if you don't want them. So this one's kind of spreading. It's a bummer. If that happens to you, that just means there's too much water. Sometimes you can fix it. Um, and sometimes I'm just going to make a plan B, but we'll see what I can do. You know what else is really cool sometimes is adding salt to your wet artwork um, because it gives you some different cool little designs. I'll have to do that another time. This is not working out how I thought it was going to. I need like a different brush. Like a more roundy brush. I'm gonna put some polka dots, but this thing. Really... I don't like that either. Alright, back to this brush. I'm just gonna put some purple polka dots, like, pretend that's the background, you know? So I can still incorporate the purple a little bit. Well, you know else, how else I can bring the purple in is to write the love, my letters, with purple. So then I'm going to do that next. Yeah, that's kind of neat. This gives it a little different, ties the purple in a little bit more. She's cute. Oh, I should give her a purple hair ties too before I finish it up. So I'm going to let her dry for a bit. And then I think what I would like to do is outline her with a black sharpie. Or if you have a black marker you like to use. That would work. But I'm going to need her to dry it and work on the boy. Alright. New paper. So, that was the girl. Now I'm working on the boy. So, same way we start here with the nose in the middle. Give it a little green. And then give it a hat. My pencil needs some sharpening. Okay, for this one, um, I'm going to do a little bit different shape of a hat. 
can you guys can you decide what kind of shape you like the best? And let me know. I like this one because it's just, you know, it's silly. It's more silly. Okay? So then um, what's cool about this shape is like if you put bigger spaces, you can put designs in them. So I'm going to put parts in this one. And then maybe I'll put a heart here, kind of split them up a little bit. Oh man, it needs a different one, so. Darn. Oops. Okay. I'm sorry I can't be with you guys online today, by the way. I have a uh, training for teachers in Denver, so. That's why I'm leaving this awesome thing. So I'm drawing his mustache, obviously. It's kind of fun. Um, he's also going to be holding a heart but I want his hands to be like out on it so I'm gonna go ahead and do his arm like this and we're gonna give him some uh, gloves I don't know why gloves but I'm not great at doing fingers so maybe that's why <laughs> So the thumbs are on the top because if you were going to hold something like against your stomach, you would put your hearts on the top too. Or thumbs on the top, not her top. Okay, and then I'm going to do a heart. But you could do other things if you want. You could have him holding flowers or a teddy bear. Or just something awesome that if you were going to give this to someone that they'd love. It could even be like a skateboard or chocolate or Who knows? All right, so I've drawn this heart behind. And you can draw whatever you want words on it, or you could just leave it blank. It's up to you. Um, so hypothetically, the beard goes like, you know, underneath the arm and comes down. So I'm gonna draw the beard. So this would be part of the beard, and then it would come down. And then this would be part of the beard, and then it would come down. I'm gonna make one kind of curvy just for fun. It's a long beard. And then they didn't do this in their version, but I'm gonna put like a little mouth right here on mine. So you could do like lips and like a mouth because I think that looks cool. And then we need pants and shoes. So I'm gonna put a leg here and some shoes here. And the reason I draw them like this is because if you think about a shoe, if you're looking at a shoe from the front, that's kind of what it would look like, no matter really what kind of shoe it is, you know? Unless you got flip-flops or something. Put one right here. And the pants. Good. All right. Um, I'm gonna put some little lines here. Make this one piece white. All right. The other thing that they do on their version is put little hearts up here, like, like almost they're thinking about hearts, almost like they're comment bubbles, but they're not quite. Just for fun. So we'll do something like that. Okay, the last thing that I like about their version is they have, um, like a wooden background, like wooden slabs, so you could do them straight up and down, you could do them sideways, it's kind of up to you. I think I'm going to do mine up and down so they're a little different. If you want to use a ruler so that it's perfectly straight, you can, but you don't have to. Because we're not going to be super detailed with the background, but I do want to look like 
he's kind of against a wooden wall or fence or something, okay? And if you want, you can kind of do some more details in here. Turn there's a knot in the wood. I'm going to find heart knots. When you see a knot in the wood, that is where the tree was growing, but they cut it. And that piece is where there was a branch. So you really wouldn't have like a heart shaped one, probably, but I'm doing it because it's cute. And it's gone. It's flavor. Right? Alright, there's my little guy. I'm just going to leave the heart plain this time. Um, again, that was really fast, so if it's too fast, you can, you know, go back, pause, slow down the, um, speed, whatever you need to do. And stick with a pink nose again. I'm going to make a pink hearts for this guy. I'm just going to do, like, an outline. I'm going to make it solid. No, I changed my mind. I'm going to make it solid. You do not have to put hearts on yours at all. If you don't want to make it Valentine's theme, no big deal. Just put stripes and colors. Again, like you could put your favorite sports team colors or logos. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to make his heart pink too. And I'll match his little nose. I remember one year my husband bought me, or didn't buy me uh, brownies, but he made homemade brownies, like uh, a tray of brownies, full tray. And I came home and my black lab AJ had eaten the entire tray. I was so worried about him. Like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of chocolate to eat a whole tray of brownies. Like, I couldn't even do that myself, you know, I'd be sick. But he was fine. He had like a stomach of steel, AJ. He ate all kinds of stuff that belonged to me when he was little. He ate my computer, a coat, like my CDs. He was pretty jealous of me. Because I had just started dating my husband before he was my husband. And I think they do. This was pretty jealous. Poor guy. <laughs> and, alright. I think I'm going to be blue. I think I'll look just dandy with blue. Speaking of sports scenes, it's like a Dodger blue. Some people might find it's easier to do the background first. So then if you accidentally get it on your character, you can paint over it, you know? But, I don't know, I just felt like doing the gnome first, so I'm not too worried about it, I guess. to make the background look like wooden so that we can like go over stuff with a dark brown or something like that if I mess up I'm going to keep the blue gloves to match the blue outfit I didn't really go how I wanted it to. I'm just trying to outline it. Okay, 
Now, I'm going to show you two options for the beard on these guys. I mean, you could you can color it whatever you want. So, but my recommendations would be um, they're using like a gray to do the mustache and beard shadows, but I like to use blue because um, I don't know why. I guess when it snows outside, for example, and you look at the shadows in the snow. In the white snow, the shadows are kind of blue. You know? Notice that the next time it snows. It's supposed to snow soon. Like, well, I don't know about there, but here it's supposed to snow like right there. But... Anyway, it just kind of gives a little shadow without the gray. And sometimes gray might be best. But for this guy, I don't want to blue. I messed up his nose, so I'm just kind of trying to use watercolor to incorporate it in to make it look like a shadow. See? He's looking nice and frosty. So I'm just going to put some like darker scratches of paint in there. And then I'll go back over it with water. Just putting water. Why should I make his shoes, guys? I'm not really sure what I want to do there. What if we're so much fun, guys? I had no idea until COVID how much I love watercolor. So I guess if there was anything positive about it, it was that. I found out that I love, love watercolor. Um, Okay, I'm gonna stick with this same dark blue color for his hat. Just for like uniformity. Very scratchy paintbrush. I'm gonna just do pink. Right. I need lots of water for this part. Water, water everywhere. I'm just leave it like that. For that, I don't want to outline his hat, so. Man, this brush is so scratchy. Whoop! I tried to not let that drop hit, but it did. No! Save it! I'm gonna save it. <laughs> there we go. He's looking so cute. I can only like him even better than the girl. 
All right, what color on the shoes? They just do like a dark brown. What color this is? What color that is black? Oh, it's black. I really don't like. Look at my brown options. They're not great. We have like an orange brown, a red that's not brown at all. Like this green brown and like a light green brown. But there's not like just a brown brown. Just bogus. I used this one the last time I used brown on air with you guys. It's definitely not my favorite color of brown. Not a good hue, as they say. But he's happy, so that's fine. Happy little gnome. Alright, so I'm just going to go through and outline, like, the pieces that I colored. I'm not going to color it solid. Little heart shaped knots in the trees. Wood, I mean. go back and add some things later to make it look better. This is just to start. Again, a little bit darker, especially where it shows each new piece of wood here. All right, so now the background is kind of taken away from my gnome, right? So I'm just going to get a wet brush and just kind of go through and tone it down a little bit by adding some water to it. Just water. Because I don't want this background to take away from my um, little gnome guy. So right now it's too much. Just adding water to tone it down so it looks more like a background than like a zebra stripe, you know? It's okay if you go over your hearts if you do some in the background because we're gonna go over that with a darker color here in a minute. So I don't know why, but I just like the blue and the beard instead of the gray. But the gray makes it look kind of like, you don't want to make it look dirty. Not to say that people with gray hair look dirty because they don't, but like I think when you're painting it, it makes the paint look dirtier. And when you put the blue, it looks more natural, which is silly to say because people, like, older people don't have a lot of blue hair, but a long time ago, back far away, they, back far away, Back a long time ago in history, they used to call older people the blue hairs, and I think this is probably why. It has to do with the way that their hair looks, you know, from far away, with the shadows being blue. So I prefer blue. Um, oh, I missed between his shoes here. Okay. So here's my two little guys. Um, right next to each other. Totally adorable. So I'm going to take my Sharpie and hope that it is dry. It seems to be. 
and I'm just outlining my girl here. up to you if you want to outline it, but I think it will look better that way. Because now you can see where like the braid is and it's not just all jumbled together in one big like long red piece, you know? Yeah, she's getting cuter by the minute. See, this will help me because her hat was the same color as the background of the other stripe. This is nice. Alright, so the girl's done. And over here, this guy is a lot more recent, so I'm going to be careful not to ruin my sharpie. This guy almost didn't really need the outline, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oops, I have to go back over that with some more blue. Have you ever seen a children's book where, like, they outline it and the Sharpie doesn't really match up with where the watercolor is, that's okay, it looks like a style, but you don't have to, you know, do it exactly. I'm kind of happy with this hat the way it is, but for sake of consistency, we'll do that. Um, last thing we need to do, I mean, you can sign them. That could be the last thing to do. But if you like, you can add some color to the little hearts up here. Okay? Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Love him. Um, I'm going to fix this really quick because it's going to bother me. Boop, boop. A lot of blue here to fix it. There we go. Okay. Now up in the corner, I think I'm going to just do some red hearts so they stand out a little different. I used my dark red that I thought was brown. Mm, so cute. I am loving the way that the wood looks with the heart shaped knots in it. Love it. Adorable. All right, and there we go. Pretty cute. I like them both. Well, I hope you guys have a happy next couple of weeks and enjoy your Valentine's. And um, stay warm. I will talk to you later. Bye.